I'm Dinah Voiles Pulver. I'm the National Environment Writer for Gatehouse Media, and we are looking this afternoon at a potentially developing situation in the Gulf of Mexico. There is a system out there that the National Hurricane Center has started watching because it has the potential to become a tropical cyclone here pretty shortly. The system will not be the typical high wind hurricane, but it will still have impacts throughout the region. As of Thursday afternoon, it was about 820 miles southwest of Panama City, Florida. They expect the storm to continue moving in a generally northeast direction. It's expected to make a landfall somewhere over the Florida panhandle on Saturday morning. Maximum sustained winds right now are 50 miles per hour, but that's big enough to do, you know, that's big enough to cause some problems, especially here in an area where they saw Hurricane Michael come ashore as a Cat 5 just a year ago, and they are still in a major recovery phase there. Once the storm enters Florida, it will cross the Panhandle and go up across Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina potentially with high winds and rainfall as it moves along. The typical or the tentative track right now from the National Hurricane Center for this potential storm would have it over the Carolinas on Sunday morning. The system at this point in time is considered potential tropical cyclone 16. If it becomes a named tropical storm, it would be Nestor. One of the big things that they're watching, the National Weather Service is watching along the Panhandle, Florida, is the potential for storm surge. A lot of these Gulf storms have the potential to create great storm surge that can cause damage, cause a lot of flooding, and flooding is one of the biggest reasons that people lose their lives in storms. For now, the forecast calls for one to two feet there along Panama City, but the potential is up to three to four to five feet as the Gulf hits the big bend of Florida there where Florida kind of curves and makes that arm to the left. That's an area that has the potential to attract a pretty big storm surge. And to the National Weather Service in Tallahassee points out that even if the storm does not become an official tropical storm, the impacts across the region will still be the same.